So welcome to this Sunday's Fundamentals video. This is Brian and I'm coming to you from uh, Boise, Idaho. I just learned from Bozeman, Montana. You know, check that out. It's my new hat. Um, it's gonna match the rims on my new truck. And so uh, since I'm picking my truck up in Nevada, I'm gonna be driving it home next week. I figured I'd get a hat to match and, and take it on home with me. This is Harry back here. He also happens to uh, match my hat. I'm making him a little nervous. But um, Harry is an awesome cat. He's a uh, He's my sister's cat and I'm hanging out with my sister here, spending a little time with family. But in the meantime, I wanna talk about, there's two things we talk about. And one is ways of being, hey Harry, what's up buddy? One is ways of being and uh, the other is there's actual techniques, things you can do. So let's, I wanna talk about two things here. One is I love to talk about your beingness, who you're being as a man, what it is to be a man, what it is to be a powerful man that gets things done and gets results. And that's all a part of your internal uh, as they used to say, internal game. There's also your external game. What do you say when you talk to a girl? How do you, how do you say it? And we're gonna be getting more into that. I think in Sunday Fund Fundamentals, I'm gonna be demonstrating a lot more direct subcommunication, things you can say, and then I'm gonna be breaking down the internals behind it. I think this is gonna be exciting as we get into this. Uh, some of this I wanna bring in some other, um, some models to do the work with. And uh, I also want to uh, look a little deeper at some of the topics I want to bring you in this area and really make it shine solidly so you can add it together with your internal game. But to get this right, I really want to go over the internal game today. I want to go over one important aspect, I mean, of the internal game, and that is, are you inviting a woman into your powerful reality as a man, or are you trying to get into her reality? And this is really important. Most guys, when they first start working on their dating reality, are out there trying to get a woman's attention. They're trying to get validation from a woman. They're trying to get attention from a woman. And sometimes they get obsessed and they, that's all they do is they work on their ability to meet, talk to, flirt with women so much so that women become their purpose. I'm gonna say that again. Women become their purpose. And that is the big mistake. That's what sets, makes you stick, get stuck for a very long time. You see, when women are your purpose, you will become very reactive to the women. You won't have a sense of happiness without the women. If they validate you, you feel good. If they reject you, you feel bad. And this just doesn't work. See, women do not want to be a man's purpose. They want you to care about them, love them, respect them, be turned on for them. Sure, all of that stuff is great. But when she is your purpose, she can wrap you around her finger and she can get you to jump when she says jump and then she loses respect for you very quickly. You have to have a life besides her. How does that look? How does that work? What does that feel like? Well, I'm gonna give you some examples, really powerful examples. Uh, sim well, I'll, I'll say it another way. Rather than powerful examples, really simple examples that just kind of show you. Um, I'm gonna use, um, for example, I had an old friend um and uh he was really good with women uh daniel and i've talked about daniel before and daniel was a natural and daniel couldn't tell you what he did with women i asked him what do you do with women he said well, i just talked to him but when i look back now knowing what i know i can break him down and i can look at what he was doing see daniel didn't need the women to feel good about himself yes he enjoyed women he appreciated women but he had a life besides the women. He was building his business. He was really into his business. He loved being a DJ and he'd play with the, being a DJ every night. He was really into certain aspects of spirituality and, and religion to the point where he'd do these deep meditations and processes where he would do deep work on himself. And that was in spite of the women. No woman was gonna interrupt these, these things he does. No woman's gonna stop him from DJing. No woman was gonna stop him from doing his spiritual practice. No woman was gonna stop him from building his business. They could come and join they could participate, they could hang out with them, um, they could learn from him if they wanted to learn some about it. But ultimately, this, these things were his purpose and, he, and nothing was gonna stop him. And to the point of almost judgment, like you try to stop me from this, you're out of my life, get out. And this is really powerful when you think about it. Now, another one is I knew uh, a guy, Dave, who is my business partner in this business, he's a natural with women, but he, you know, and for years he, didn't give a fuck what women thought of him. He was a skateboarder and his skateboarding came before the women. He, I loved, he loved his skateboarding. Then he got into mountain bike racing and his mountain bike racing was number one. Women, if they wanted to come to his life, they had to accept that he would go on these, these crazy races and, he, and do all this crazy stuff. He lived in his van for a while, had dreadlocks down in the middle of his back. He did not give a fuck what they thought of him. They told him to cut his dreadlocks, they were out. 
if they didn't like that he lived in a van because he wanted to live in the van because he was working out back at this restaurant and having fun living a wild lifestyle he didn't care you see he wouldn't change himself for them especially at that time in his life these were not serious relationships these were women he was dating as you get more serious we can talk a little bit about that but you still shouldn't be changing yourself just to make the girl happy never ever do that so do you have a life do you have a life besides the women are you happy or do you need a woman to make you happy and that is the real answer here do you have a purpose besides the woman do you need the woman to make you happy you know, I have a, uh, I've got this business I built and I got all the employees, the guys in the business that I love. And, and the way I build the business is most important. I don't hide it. I don't cover it up. This is what I do for a living. I tell women all the time, this is, this is huge for me. What else do I do? I love to snowboard. I got travel around the world. I've snowboarded in Chile. I've snowboarded in Japan. And I'll say, hey, I'm going away for a couple of weeks. I'm going to go snowboarding. This is something I do. This is something I love to do. And if you're coming to my life, you got to know that. I just bought a house in Bozeman. I love my house. I got these, these the mountains all around me. I can go out and um, explore nature and I'll see, maybe I can cut a picture in here and show you a picture of the, uh, the park across from my house and how beautiful it is. And I, I, I used to have my dog, man. And I was, gonna, I was with my dog for 10 years till she passed away. And no woman that was just coming into my life is gonna tell me to get rid of my dog. It's, I love my dog. I, that was at, my time, at that time was kind of like my child. You know, she was somebody I was raising and taking care of, and I made a commitment to her. Um, what are other things that I'm into? Well, I just tried paragliding, and that may become a new thing for me. I really love paragliding. I love doing it. Um, maybe I'll put a clip of that up here, just, to, just the first time I did it. I'm considering going out and learning to do that. This is something I can invite women into that they'll find fascinating about me, but I'm not doing it to impress them. I've got to like it. I've also tried skydiving in the past. I wasn't into it as much. I thought about getting into it. I started to get, uh, learn more about it. I just kind of let it go. It wasn't my thing at the time. Now, maybe it's something I'd get into. You know, these types of things are huge when you're growing yourself. Who are you and what passions, real passions, not made up, not forced, not fake, not passions that I just think are cool, do you have that turn you on that nobody else gets in the way of, women or men? The, that you're gonna do regardless and you're gonna own and you're gonna be able to say, this is what I love to do. This is who I am as a man. This is how I'm expressing my life at this time in my life. And if you'd like to come along for the ride, you can. I've even done this with women I've gone on dates with. I had a woman just recently flake on me on a date and, um, and she flaked the last minute and then she wanted to reschedule. And, uh, and I was like, no, I said, I, I was on vacation. I had a limited amount of time. I lost the night. I had some guys I wanted to hang out with. Uh, some, uh, uh, one was my business partner and another was a client. And I said, you know what? I really like you and I really think you're awesome. And she'd actually flaked on me twice. And I said, but I just don't trust you now. Honestly, I have more respect for myself in this. And I literally said this. I said, but here's something I will do. I'm going out to dinner. We're going to this steakhouse. Me and my business partner and this other guy, we're gonna have a nice dinner together. If you want to come join us, you can come join us, but I'm not going to uh, hold you to it. You can show up. You can not. This is where we'll be. Come join us. Text me if you're on your way. I said, but I, otherwise, I, I'm not going to make any specific plans with you anymore and, uh, unless we end up getting to know each other better somehow. And I just went on about it and let it go. Well, she ended up showing up at the steakhouse and she apologized up and down. She was very sincere about the apology. Matter of fact, she was a sweetheart after that. Why? Because I had a boundary. I set a rule. I also didn't get emotionally affected by the fact that she didn't show up. I just went out and had fun anyways after she didn't show up. But then I said, I'm not going to keep expecting this to happen. So these are my rules now. Women do this to men all the time and they should. And you need to do this to women. What are your passions? What are you creating? What do you want to create? What do you want your life to be about? So many of you guys don't have a life or if you do, you don't know what it is. So you sacrifice your purpose to make a woman happy. Maybe you love playing the guitar, but suddenly you haven't played guitar in a long time because you're out there trying to meet so many women and you're working your ass off to meet women and you haven't done your passion in a long time. What is your passion? Maybe you're a painter. Maybe you haven't picked up the paintbrush in a while. I had a client that had done that. He gave up painting. He was out there working on himself all the time and he was giving up the very stuff that was nurturing his soul. Maybe you love to dance. Maybe you, you know, some people are into, I, I have a client that's into hip hop dance. And, you know, he's thinking, at first he was doing the hip hop dance just to get women. 
that's a mistake, right? Like, look how cool I am. But as he started to let that go, the dance became more something for him, not to get women, where it became an expression and something he gives away and does for, to nurture his soul. And suddenly the way the women would respond to something like that is completely different. So figure out who you are. And one more for you. You guys all know who Zan Perry Allen is. You guys should if you don't. Zan's a good friend of mine. He's a powerful dating coach that wrote the book, The Alabaster Girl. Definitely check it out. I've got interviews of him on this channel. You can check those out. So Zan Perry Allen, you know, he would show up and he would invite women into his life while he was there. And he'd say, I'm here for this long. If you want to join me, you know, we're going to go see these. Uh, we're, going to, uh, we're going to be seeing this stuff. We're going to be doing X, Y, and Z. And you can join in in that reality. I want you to think about Zan Perry Allen for a minute. Zan is a good friend of mine. He wrote the book, The Alabaster Girl. It's a powerful read, and I definitely recommend you check it out if you haven't. But think about Zan's life. When Zan became what he calls this pirate, and he started to travel the world living out of a suitcase, his passion was traveling. His passion was reading. His passion was being an artistic person, playing the guitar, things like this. And he would do this stuff and go from city to city, inviting women into this life, seeing museums, seeing uh, monuments, seeing... Uh, expressing uh, himself artistically and they could come join him or they couldn't he say I'll be here for the next month and come join me I want you around as much as possible but if not her it would be somebody else because this was the life he created this is who he was and if you want an understanding of that definitely read the alabaster girl notice in that book though he knew who he was and what he was about as an artist as a pirate as an author he knew who he was and the women could either join that reality or they wouldn't. And what this does is it really polarizes women. The women will either join you because they like who you're being, they're intrigued by it, or they won't. And that's exactly what you want. If they're not turned on by who you're being, they don't like it. They want, maybe she really wants a businessman, a stable businessman, and Zan doesn't fit. She's out of his life in seconds because he doesn't fit. But the right girl will pol polarize in the right way and come in, magnetically be drawn in. And if you become so generic that you try to appeal to every woman, no woman will really be drawn to you enough to go out of her way to spend time with you. And that's a really important realization. And part of that comes from being, being so generic is because you're afraid of offending somebody. And when you stop giving a fuck what people think and start to live the life the way you want, like maybe you want to have tattoos, maybe you like big muscles, maybe you want to learn to play the guitar and play really loud rock music maybe you want to um, become a hip-hop dancer just for yourself for self-expression it's not about couples dancing but it's about flowing maybe you want to become a singer and, and really sing maybe you want to be a skydiver uh, because it just it, it you're, you have a rush for extreme sports athlete athleticism you know extreme sports and things like that when you start to own who you're being and you go out on the limb to be that person and you start putting it out there, yes, you will push away some women and you will magnetically pull in the right women. And that's exactly what you want. And that's what I'm trying to get to with this. When you really own your purpose and you put it out there and express it freely, that's when you become powerfully attractive. So I said that over and over and I keep saying it over and over because I want it to hit. And what I want you to do in this video is look at the things you love. Are you doing them? Look at the things you want to explore to figure out if you love them. Are you doing them? And I want you to, if you're not, I want you to take action. Maybe you've always wanted to get a tattoo. Maybe this is the time to do it. Maybe you've always wanted to learn to ride motorcycles and you want to live on the edge a little bit. Yeah, take the safety courses, do it right, but do it. Maybe you really want to learn to skydive or become a backcountry snowboarder and you have never even taken a snowboarding lesson. You want to travel the world snowboarding or maybe you just want to travel the world. See, these things are all important, but they should be for you and not so you will be a cool ass dude to attract women. If you're, if you're doing all this stuff to build a cool Instagram to be attractive to women, well, honestly, you're not gonna be happy anyways. You're just gonna be miserable in the end. But if you're doing all this, and then let's say you're posting it on Instagram and Facebook once a day just to be an expression of stuff you love to share it with the world. Now watch how women will respond. Watch how the world will respond. Okay, and I said once a day because people go overboard with that fucking Instagram and shit and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with it. I think it's great when you build a good one. But if you're doing it all day to get your likes, then you got a problem. you got a serious problem, man. And it's time to take a, a, a detox from that. So in this comments in this video, I want you to put down what your, you, what your purpose is right now, what you've let go of. And I want you to write it down. What are you going to go explore? 
and get back into your life. Maybe it's painting, maybe it's music. I also want you to put down a few things that you want to explore that might expand or be part of your purpose if you haven't figured it out. Pick a few things, write them down and then write them down. And then I want you in the next month to go out and explore those things. And I want you to make sure that you're exploring these things for you to figure out who you are as a man. And then after you go explore each one, come back and put a comment in the video about what that exploration was like. So with that said, hopefully this video makes sense to you. It's, uh, it's really gonna build your self-esteem and it's really gonna help to build you into the man you're supposed to be so that women will be drawn to you. And uh, this is one simple technique, not technique, I didn't even say that. So it's a simple way of being that really builds your masculinity and your sense of polarization to women, the, the ability to polarize women so they get attracted to you, okay? So I wanna invite you into this activity, get started right away. Hopefully you like this video, make sure to hit that like button if you did, make sure to hit to share it, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment like we said. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live and I'll see you in the next video.